When I tap the back of my Pixel 6 Pro like this, it captures a screenshot. This is the back tap gesture in this phone and I'm gonna show you how to activate this. Welcome to the top 10 tips and tricks for the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. This video is valid for the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro owners and I'm gonna show you the coolest 10 tricks to enhance your Pixel 6 and 6 Pro experience. If you are watching my channel for the first time ever, I would request you all to hit the subscribe button and help me cross 100k subscribers. With that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the first tip for all the Pixel 6 owners. So the back tap gesture is not just limited to screenshot. You can actually set the back tap gesture to perform any uh, action of your liking on the phone. All you have to do is you have to go to the settings of your phone and then go into the system and inside the system you have the gestures. Now at the top you can see this quick tap. This is basically the back tap feature and you can see that right now I have set it to take screenshot but you can see that you can set it to access your digital assistant, play or pause media, see the recent applications or show the notifications. Let's say I set it to show the notifications and now if I go back and I tap the back of my phone like this, you can see that it opens the notification panel. Similarly, you can set the back tab or the quick tab gesture to work to perform any action of your liking. I like uh, using it to take a screenshot on my pixel and it does a very nice job. As you can see right here on the screen, it captures the screenshot as soon as I tap the back of my phone. You can also use it to open any application from the list of applications given right here inside the quick tap settings. The next tip is very important for all the Google Pixel 6 and 6 Pro owners and in fact I think this is the most important tip. Now as you get your phone out of the box and you press the power button of your device, it launches the Google Assistant. You can actually configure the power key or the side key to power off or on your device. You can see that in the press and hold power button settings, we have the hold for assistant and uh, this is turned off right now. It is turned on by default, but I have turned it off because I want this key to act as a power key only. But if I turn it on, this is the default mode and, and it launches the assistant on the Google Pixel 6 and the 6 Pro. So what you can do is you can turn it off and uh, use this key as your normal power key. Now the question is, if you're using this key as the power key, how are you going to launch the assistant on your Google Pixel 6 or 6 Pro? Well, for that, you can swipe up from the corner of your phone like this, and you can see that it launches the Google Assistant. And by doing this, you can keep using the Google Assistant on your phone while your key acts as your normal power key. Once again, I would like to remind you that all the tricks that I am showing you in this video, they are also applicable on the Google Pixel 6. And for that reason, I have the Google Pixel 6 right here and I am showing you the demonstration on the Pixel 6 Pro. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the next tips and I would like to start it off with the camera application on this phone. In the camera application, I would like to show you how you can turn on the top shot feature and how you can also use the object eraser in the gallery of the phone. So to turn on the top shot, you just have to click on this settings icon right here and here at the top, you can see the top shot. If you want to just look at the official explanation of the top shot, you can just check it out from here. And it says when top shot is on, Pixel includes a short video to capture more of the movement. Pixel will also suggest movements or frames that are worth saving. Okay, so uh, you can just turn it on. There are three options off, auto, and just use it all the time. And now when you capture an image using the top shot feature, and you open the image and just go into the description of the image you can see that i have a lot of shots given right here what i can do is i can just go into each of these frames one by one and i can choose the frame that i like the most so basically if you are capturing a moving object or if you are capturing or if you are trying to capture a movement in an image the top shot feature is really good because it can really help you pick up that really wonderful candid movement in your desired image or in your desired scene. Similarly, you must have seen that if you just long press this button on the Pixel 6 Pro, it basically records a video clip. So how does this phone actually take the buzz shot images? Well, 
when you have pressed this button and as long as you keep it pressed with your finger like this you can see that a small image icon is blinking right next to the timer of this video that means that while i'm recording a video it's also capturing the burst shot images and when i leave it it just stops and if i open this video clip right here you can see that apparently it's a video clip but if i just go into the details of this clip you can see that i have all these frames right here underneath and now i can go into each frame one by one and once again i can pick up an image of my own liking and in fact the phone is also giving me some suggestions uh, in this image which is the best shot and i can actually export an hdr shot from this collection of images so this is how you are going to capture the burst shot images on your pixel 6 or pixel 6 pro now these were some selfies that I was trying earlier today and now that I am talking about selfies I would like to show you another trick that the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro both have up their sleeves. So if you just switch to the selfie camera on the Pixel 6 Pro and now here if you zoom in you can see that the Pixel 6 can zoom in up to 2.9x and that's really wonderful because I have never seen a camera zooming in like this and taking so good images even with that front camera zoom. Now it's really uh, strange to find out that the front camera zoom is limited to 2.9x it is weird because it could be 3x or it could be 2x for that matter but the 2.9x on the scale looks a little weird anyways you can zoom in or zoom out in the portrait mode images too and these images come out really well i will also check if we can zoom uh, the front camera on the pixel 6 as well okay yeah okay so on the pixel 6 we can zoom the front camera up to 4x but on the Pixel 6 Pro, it is limited to 2.9x. You can see that here we can go all the way to 4x. And if we go to the portrait mode and zoom in. And in this mode, in the portrait mode on the Pixel 6, we can zoom in up to 4x as well. And this is really crazy because on the Pixel 6 Pro, the zoom is limited to uh, 2.9x. And on the 6, it is uh, limited to 4x before i show you other tricks i would also like to show you a trick in the photos application of both these devices so in the photos application you can just open any image and in the image you can just uh, go to edit and here in the edit you can find this tools option in the tools you can find the magic eraser now the magic eraser will first suggest you what you can erase from an image for example, I want to erase this mouse from right here and let's see. Okay, see the magic. The mouse is gone from here. Similarly, I can remove any object, any area that I select with this brush. It will be wiped off and the object will be erased from that particular area. This is a really nice trick to remove unnecessary objects and people from your images. Uh, if someone photobombs your image, this is the way to get rid of them within your phone. The next trick is to change the formation of the app grid. Okay, so for this, you can go to the settings on your phone and inside the settings, go to wallpaper and style and at the bottom, go to the app grid. You can see that I have set it to 5 into 5 because this is what I like. But if you want the icons to appear large on your screen, you can select 4x4, 4x5 or even 3x3 for that matter. I like 5x5 because I want to fit more icons onto one page of my phone and therefore I use 5x5. The next trick is also related to the home screen of the Pixel 6. Now here you must have seen that I have this really nice formation of the widgets on the home screen. The only reason for me to put all these clock widgets on the home screen is to demonstrate how you can achieve this kind of look or how you can resize the widgets on the screen. So let's say I want to remove this widget. I can just remove it by dragging it to the remove button at the top and now I can long press the screen and here I can go to the widgets. Now here we have all these system generated widgets and one by one we can add all these widgets. I would like to show you the clock widgets only for here now. In the clock widgets we have all these options. Now let's say I want to add the analog widget once again i will just long press and here you can see that i can now choose the style of the analog widget for instance i want to uh, add this numeral widget i will just click on it and you can see that we have it here i will just remove this smaller one and i'll show you how to resize this one so i have it here and if i just drag it you can see that i can resize the widget similarly you can resize 
all the widgets on this phone according to your own choice you can see that i can resize this one too if i just remove it and now if i just try to expand it further this is what it looks like so similarly you can just resize and remove or add all the widgets of your liking on the home screen of your google pixel 6 or 6 pro the next trick is how you can pin the applications on the home screen of your google pixel 6 so basically app pinning means that you can pin an application on the screen and you can give your phone to a trustworthy person and that person will not be able to come out of that pinned application for instance i want to give my phone to a kid for youtube and i don't want the kid to close the youtube application or see anything else on my phone i can just pin the youtube application and give it to the kid the kid will be able to surf through the youtube but won't be able to exit the youtube application and once if someone exits the youtube application that person will actually go to the lock screen not just out of the application first of all we have to turn on the app pinning feature for that we have to go to the advanced settings of the phone advanced settings of the phone can be found inside the security options inside the advanced settings you will find this app pinning feature the app pinning feature is turned on on my phone because i used it earlier but you can turn it on uh, from here okay so I can go to the uh, recent applications for example I have just launched the YouTube application and now I want to pin it I can go to the recent applications and here I can click on the YouTube icon and click on pin now the YouTube application has been pinned and I cannot close it I cannot go back you can see that the gestures are not working however I can just keep moving inside the YouTube application the way I want this is how it works so so to exit the YouTube application, I just have to swipe up from the center and hold it in the center and it takes me to the lock screen of my phone. You can see that now I have to unlock my phone using the pin code. That's pretty much it with the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro tips and tricks and I hope you guys found some of these tips useful. If you found any of these tips useful, make sure to drop your feedback in the comment section down below. Also, if you think that you have found a trick that others need to know make sure to share that with others in the comment section as well if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please hit the subscribe button and as i said help me reach 100k subscribers with that being said i will sign off and see you all in the next one